All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to another video. I am a pro hobby, and today we are going to pl be playing a free itch.io game called Investigator in the Case of the Red Herring. So let's get right into it. Um, oh, Bobby Cat. Boy, am I glad to see you, Investigator. Who's that with you? A pleasure as always, Bobby Cat. Please let me introduce my latest sidekick, the Trauma Llama. Please don't call a trained forensic pathologist a sidekick investigator. Also, you're paying me to be here. In any case, Bobby Cat, please tell us about the victim. Ooh, what do we have here? Victim, the sunk skunk. A nasty fellow by all accounts, mid-thirties, did odd jobs along the dock. He spent most of his time at the Red Herring, a local tavern, drinking and getting thrown out for brawling. We found him washed up on the shore of the river, quite close to the herring. It's a fishy business, gentlemen. No sign of fresh injuries or a struggle, but plenty of people would have stood in line for the opportunity, if you ask me. If you don't mind, Bobby Cat, I'll have my sidekick take a look at the body. Hmm, pass me the rubber gloves, please, investigator. And now, the long-handled scalpel. And that hypodermic needle. And the giant bottle with the skull and bones label on it, please. Oh, and some cotton swabs. And perhaps the bone saw. Should... Should I be worried? No, no, no. The Travel Llama is a professional. He's the best in his field. I'll take your word for it, investigator. Alright, gentlemen. I'm still processing the toxicology samples. Those won't be done for a bit. But I can tell you now that time of death was less than 48 hours ago. And cause of death was definitely asphyxiation, or rather, drowning. Ooh, clues. Cause of death. Cause of death was definitely drowning. Just like I said. Unfortunately, my medical examination doesn't quite corroborate Bobby Cat's initial conclusion. His three cracked ribs, blood out of his fingernails, and internal bruising. Alright. Cool. Huh? Well, we can't all be Sweeney Todd over there, cutting up people's bodies. Jealousy is unbecoming, Bobby Cat. Now please allow us to inspect the scene of the crime. Ooh, it looks like we get to click around. Oh boy, this is the tattoo of a local river gang, the King Crabs. Oh, you suspect a gang related homicide? At the very least, we should be on the lookout for any fellow members seeking revenge. Ooh, another... Ooh. Ooh, okay, so we get to click around some more. His feetsies. Hmm, what's this? He's holding on tightly to his wallet. Not trying to steal from the dead, are you, the trauma llama? Well, you know, you re really aren't paying me enough. Oh, look at this, the trauma llama. It's an unpaid tab bill from the red herring. Four hundred dollars? The sunk skunk must have really liked his booze. About three hundred of it is apparently for broken furniture and tableware. Let's see. What's this crate? Bobby Cat, why are these crates here? Huh? Oh, they washed ashore with the victim. It was almost like he was holding them. They're just full of sardine cans. Hmm, but well what's inside the cans? A crate of small opium. <laughs> okay, found floating near the victim. This is opium! Yes, it's just as I thought. You were right, Bobby Cat. This is a very fishy business indeed. 
You see, Bobby Cat is always right. Okay, well that looks like all we can do here, so let's put this arrow. Oh. This is a tangled case indeed, my friends. Bobby Cat, you said that Sunk Skunk often frequented a local establishment? Yes, sir. The Red Herring, I believe it's called. I think it... I think it would be best to continue our investigation there. Coming, the trauma llama? Eh? Oh, yes. Give me a minute to pack up my forensics kit. Let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. The trauma llama. What a colorful locale. Very hole in the wall. I'll be sure. To, I'll be sure to leave a Yelp review. I'm not sure any of these denizens have done an honest day's work in their lives. Ooh, let's talk to people. The illegal seagull. It's the fuzz. What do you want, squawk? Do you know someone by the name of Sunk Skunk? Why is your name the Illegal Seagull? How often do you come to the Red Herring? Take care. Do you know someone by the name of the Sunk Skunk? The S Sunk Skunk? Have you heard from that good for nothing? I sent him to deliver a load of my cargo a couple of days ago and I haven't s s seen him hide or hair of that th th thief since. So, you were the Sunk Skunk's boss? Sh sh sure and I'm telling you I would not give that scoundrel a letter of recommendation. Ouch! That's a death blow in the job market these days. I hired the Sunk Skunk for a delivery job that went bad. Okay. Oh, these are our suspects. So, Illegal Seagull is one of our suspects. Why is your name the Illegal Seagull? Uh, it's just, you know, one of those silly childhood nicknames. <laughs> um, I don't know if I believe you. I'm not sure you have much room to talk, Trauma Llama. What? What are you saying about my name? It's a little odd, that's all. How often do you come to the Red Herring? Huh? What's this? The fifth degree? I actually can't stay in this place. I'm only here because of that useless lump the sunk skunk hangs around here all the time. I thought I'd catch him in here eventually. Thank you, sir. You've been very helpful. Yeah, well, just don't let it get around. That would ruin my street cred. Who's this guy? Squeal the seal. No! I give up! I confess! I'll admit everything! What exactly are you confessing to? Everything! I did it! Or if I didn't, I know who did! Take me away and demand a witness protection program! That's not how it works, Mr. Squeal. What? Why not? You have to be able to tell me what you're confessing to. Do you know the Sunk Skunk? Yeah, of course! I know anybody who's- er, I know everybody who is anybody, me. How would you describe the sunk skunk? Oh man, that guy was crazy. Always walking around with a skateboard and studded jewelry, talking about how he hated the man. Um, I think you may be confusing him for the punk skunk. Oh, oh no, you're right. I know who you're talking about. The guy who played a mean saxophone and had an afro, right? No, that would be the funk skunk. Investigator, we're wasting our time. He clearly has no idea who we're talking about. 
squeal the seal is our no suspect. What can you tell us about that lobster sitting in the corner? The mobster lobster? Oh man, oh man, I'll get in trouble if I tell you. Please, Mr. Squeal. Look, all I'm saying is you do not want to mess with that guy, all right? They say he's the son of Don Kraleon, head of the crayfish crew. The rival gang of the king crabs? Yeah, that's the last person who pissed him off. I heard they only found bits of him floating down the river. Yikes. So the mobster lobster is another new suspect. Take it easy, Mr. Squeal. Let's go to the lobster next. <clears throat> the mobster lobster. Says nothing. Do you know someone called the sunk skunk? Says nothing. Says nothing. Says nothing. Um, sir? No. Okay. What game are you playing there? Says nothing. Says nothing. What are you, the paparazzi? <laughs> Says nothing. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay then. Okay, well our last thing here is the dog bartender. The Overseas Bernese. Welcome to the Red Herring, gentlemen. How can I help you today? Are you the owner of this establishment? I, for my sins. It's not usual to find a Bernese as far from the mountains, is it? Ha! You know your brains, I'll give you that. Why the change of scenery? Well, you know, I've always had a bit of a wandering eye and itchy paws. I wanted to travel, so I left my hometown when I was a young pup, and the rest was history. Do you know the sunk skunk? Ugh, that old reprobate. The devil himself couldn't ask for a worse customer. A bar tab longer than my tail, and always starting fights and breaking furniture. Why didn't you ban him, then? Well, business ain't been so good lately. I knew he worked for some shady customers, so I figured he had to be getting money from somewhere. I was counting on him coughing up and selling the red herring for a ticket out of the stump. So we have all of our suspects. What do you know about the lobster over there? Him? He's the ideal customer. Comes in, pays for his drinks, sits quietly, leaves like clockwork every Thursday. Never starts any trouble. Not like the sunk skunk. Never starts any trouble? Well, the sunk skunk did throw up on his shoes a few days ago. Seemed pretty upset about that. Still didn't raise her voice or nothing, just glared daggers all night. Hmm, thank you very much for your help. Have a nice day. It feels like we're raising more questions than we are answering them. All in good time, the trauma llama. Patience is a key component of investigative work. Let's see if there's any clues about the red herring that might aid us. Ooh, let's look around. Ooh, what are these bottles? They appear to be varying shapes and sizes of the exact same type of rum. Okie doke. A fish sign? Yuck. Give me, yuck. Give me a nice fresh salad over fish any day. Okay. For the sake of our professional relationship, let's never eat lunch together. <laughs> I guess the investigator is an alligator. The alligator and investigator. <laughs> Window. The glass is too dirty to see into the kitchen. Probably for the best. 
Oof. Uh, one day since the last brawl. It's one of those flippable calendars. The sign says zero one day since the last brawl. How quaint. It's a snapshot of a tavern brawl. I'm really starting to question what kind of ambiance this place is going for. Wait a second. Look! You can see Squeal, seal and Sunk Skunk fighting in this. Oh. <laughs> so they do know each other. So I can probably talk to him more about that. Let's see if there's anything else first. Another one of those sardine cans. The packaging is the same as the ones we found next to the Sunk Skunk. Opium? Again? How odd. These are actually just regular sardines. <laughs> okay. I can't click on this note down here? Okay. Fine then. Well, we should have something more to ask this... the... Something squeal? I can't remember his name now. What's the juice on the illegal seagull? Squeal the seal. Okay. That guy totally smuggles drugs, man. So we gathered. Yeah, he pays real good though, so it's worth the extra hassle. Did you just admit to being an accomplice to a federal crime? Uh, is it still too late for that witness protection deal? Any gossip about the overseas banshee? He's a weird guy, seems real easy going, maybe even too nice for his own good, but... But... Well, let's just say this one time someone tried to hold up the red herring, they had to carry him out on a stretcher. Never seen a man break someone's legs so easily. What's with this photo of you- oh, the overseas Bernice, not Banshee, wow. What's with this photo of you and the sunk skunk fighting together? Huh? That's the sunk skunk? Um... Yes? Oh man, that's awkward. I thought he was a really smelly badger the whole time. Silence. Look, I was really sloshed, alright? A farewell for now. How long have you known the song skunk? Huh? I, I did, did, did know. A few months at most. I was just looking for an extra hand with my, um, shipping business. That's the last time I looked for, for hired help on gross list. Yes, I've heard that sentiment before in a recent murder case involving a toilet tank lid. Tell me about your shipping business. It's entirely legal and above board. Go on. I would never involve myself in any kind of unauthorized smuggling. Okay. I'm entirely upright and honest a citizen. The lady doth protest too much, methinks. Are these your sardines? What? You, you can't just take people's stuff. Give them back here. Er, I'm afraid I'll have to hold on to them as evidence. But, but, I was, I was going to eat them for lunch. I'll be seeing you. Nice weather we're having. Silence. 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 All right, I can take a hint. How about those king crabs? Listen, boy, you know what's good for your health? You're going to stop talking right now. When did you last see this, the sunk skunk? Let me see, it must have been two nights ago. He came in already three sheets to the wind, ordered some more, and got into a massive brawl fight with the squeal the seal over there and limped off with his tail tucked between his legs. I'm not sure this place knows the meaning of the words cut off. What happens to the sunk skunk's tab if he er, skips town? 
I break the legs of the man who comes in and tells me that news. That's what happens. Oh. Talk about shooting the messenger. I'm a bit thirsty. Any chance you can spare a drink of salt water? Sure thing. On the house. Ask salt water. I've got to stop storing water in my clues folder. I didn't know you liked salt water, investigator. Er, yes, it's part of this new detox diet I'm trying out. See you around. Oh, I can't click on it. Fragments of a ripped up letter. As far as I can make out, it says, Want him gone, bottom of the river, tomorrow night. Investigator, it was a hit order. Hmm, but was it a hit on our victim? We only have one more clue. What's the last clue? What am I missing? Back to the- oh, here we go. Oh wait, I don't know what else to do. Oh, a new one with mobster lobster. Is this your handwriting? Kid, don't make me get my lawyer. I, uh, what? You got something more to say? No, I guess not. Oh, hold on, investigator. Looks like my toxicology samples have finished analyzing. Let me guess, he died from ricin poisoning? Don't be a ridiculous bobbycat. No, his results aren't showing any trace of foul play. Well, than his blood alcohol content being high enough to poison a small country. So he was drunk as a skunk, eh? Yes, I suppose you could say that. Are you serious? <laughs> Is that gonna be how this ends? Well, it's been murky business, gentlemen, but I think I have all the information I need to draw a conclusion. Really? Because I'm a... I, because I haven't the foggiest idea what's going on. But for my dramatic accusation, I need to borrow your forensic kit, the, tr the drama llama. You see, there's an 11th and important clue in here that I must flourish at the important moment. Oh, really? Well, alright, if you say so. Are you ready to accuse of murder? Yes, I'm ready. I'm dark in the room for a very important reason. This is the part where I overdramatically point my finger at the killer. As always, I like to give my sidekicks a chance to show me up. The trauma llama, do you want to take a crack at it first? Oh boy. I, okay, so. Squeal the seal is a pretty good option. They fought. I really don't think it's whatever he is. Um, Mobster Lobster, honestly, I feel like. I don't know. Bernie's found. I'm gonna go with Squeal the seal. I'm sorry. Haha, -ha, an interesting thought, but unfortunately incorrect. No, I'm afraid I fooled you. There was no murder of the sunk skunks. Tra death was a tragic. Hold it right there. Who? What? The real investigator? That investigator is an imposter. Two investigators? What on earth is going on? Up to my eyeballs and alligators. No, Bobby Cat. There's only one alligator in this room. That man standing there is none other than the nefarious mastermind known as the Crocodile. <laughs> but, but he knew all the inside jokes from the last investigator game. There's more. I guess there's more investigator games. The Crocodile is a criminal genius, Bobby Cat. Stand studying up on my latest cases and impersonating my every manners mannerism was child's play to him. I suppose I should be flattered. <laughs> Quite frankly, I am too impressed, Investigator. You escaped from my captivity much quicker than I would have given you credit for. You're a worthy foe, Crooked Isle, but your scheming plans in here. Oh no, I think not. After all, I succeeded in obtaining what I came here for. The Trauma Lament's forensic kit containing several very powerful sedatives and lethal poisons available only to the most practiced of medical examiners. Wh what? No. Give me back my kit. I went 
to eight years of med school for that. No, don't. The crocodile is... Ah! Also, an expert can batten. Cut down by my own bone saw. Bobby Cat, get an ambulance! But the crocodile is getting away! The trauma llama is more important right now, Bobby Cat! Heh <laughs> heh, that's right, tend to your fallen friend like a good little alligator. I'll catch you in the end, you coward. Ha! Very well, I look forward to that day. Until then, I'll see you later, investigator. <laughs> After a while, <laughs> Crocodile. Is that it? Is that the game? Because if so, that was great. It is. The Trauma Llama, he was the best in his field. Okay, I loved that. So, I want to say thank you, first and foremost, to the sky and the sea for providing us with this. A super fun and silly game. I need something good like this that was a little bit more relaxed. So yeah, if you guys want to play this game, I will link the game from this guy in the sea in the description down below. And if you want to see more HIO games, let me know that in the comments. And thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and slam that notification bell. I will see you all next time. Bye.